Let's see how we can create your first project in Android Studio and how we can run it. Okay, first open your Android Studio. And I already had a project opened. So it will open that project for me. So what I'll do is you won't have to do this step. So what I'll do is I'll click on file and click on new and click on new project. If you don't have a project installed, you will directly be created with create a new project. Now there are a bunch of options here, as you can see, you can create no activity, you can create an empty activity, you can create basic views activity, you can create empty views activity. So there are a lot of things. Now, as a beginner, all these options might be very confusing. And if you create no activity, none of the files, none of the XML files or none of the Java files will be created. Or in case you are using Kotlin, none of the Kotlin files will be created. So what I'll do is I click on empty activity and I'll explain what it is. I'll do some minimal coding and we will run this. So click on empty activity and click on next. Now give a name to your project. I'll just call it my first Android project. Now you can give any name here. So the default is com dot the code city dot my first Android project. You can change it here and write whatever you want. Now this is where I want to save my Android project. And the minimum SDK is Android 7, that is API level 24. Now, you can choose a lower version, so it will work on older phones also. So let's say if I choose Android 5, that is Lollipop, it means that it will run on approximately 99.6 features. But there are some newer features that might not be available in Lollipop. So what I'll do is I'll just choose uh, Android 7. So it will work on 96.3% of the devices. Now click on finish. And as you can see, it is, it is downloading. Once this is downloaded, our project will open. Now, some of the processes are still running. As you can see, Gradle build is running and a lot of stuff are happening. Gradle is still syncing. So that's why you're still seeing loading here. After the loading is complete, you'll see a bunch of options here. After a long time, my stuff and Gradle sync has finally been complete. So this is the project structure. Now, inside Java, there is these packages. Now, the first one is of interest to us. You can leave these two alone. Inside this first, there is main.kt. That is where our application logic and all our Kotlin code goes. And then there is ui.theme. So this is, as you can see, the colors, theme, and some typography here. Now, these are used throughout our project. So for now, we will not touch this and we will not even touch this. And after this, Something else that is interest of us is the ma of manifest file. So inside the manifest file, as you can see, we define these things. That is, which Android version to target and what is the launcher activity. So launcher activity is which page of your Android application or which activity of your Android application is first opened when the user opens the app. So this is that thing. Now, everything is ready. So basic app we already have. Now what we can do is we can just run it directly. Now you can connect your Android device and click on this button to run it in your Android device. Or what you can do is you can create an AVD. So I already have a Pixel 6 Pro API 33. What you can do is you can click on device manager and you can create a new virtual device by clicking on create device and then choose a device. I'll say, let's say Pixel 6 Pro, click next and then choose an API version. Let's say we want to choose this API level 33, click next and give a name to your device and click finish and your AVD will be created. Now there's a detailed tutorial about this. You can check the link in the description. Now, once you have your AVD, you can just click on this play button and your AVD will open up and the app will run in your AVD. That is your emulator. So right now my emulator is opening up. Now, If you have a device, you can run this in your device. I've created a tutorial that shows how to enable debugging mode in your device. Check the link in the description for that. But now I'll just run this application in this Android device. So as you can see now, hello Android is printed and that is what is happening because we are calling the greeting function here and we're passing Android here. That means it will print hello and Android. So that is what is happening right now. If you pass your name here, let's say John here and you run this again, as you can see, hello John is automatically printed. So this is how you can create a project and run your project in Android Studio. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.